Hi, this is Sandrina Matto, and this month in Realty Savvy, we're talking about whether or not you should be buying a home together. Hey, there are a few things more exciting than buying a home. But don't jump into things without careful evaluation. Now, I'm not talking about mortgages and budgets. I'm talking about life, or lifestyle, if you will. He wants a man cave. You want a yard for the kids. He wants a pool. You want a yard for the kids. He wants a 9,000-inch TV for gaming, and you want kids. Hey, wait a second. It seems to me he wants a bachelor pad, and you want the white picket fence. You guys might not even be on the same page here. I'm going a little deep. Come with me. You've met. You get along great. And in your mind, it's time to settle down together. So you say, let's buy a house. He thinks, yeah, I hate paying rent, and I kind of like this person. Okay, let's. Now... That's not when you get on the net and start house hunting. Mm -mm. That's when you start discussing what you are envisioning. In most cases, the vision's not exactly clear, but with open discussion, it can morph into a very precise idea of what you hope to achieve. You should discuss things like location, should it be close to his work or close to your family, suburb versus city, style of home, condo versus detached, the kind of space, and yes, even decor you see in your home. You may find yourself wondering how your partner can be obsessing over a pool table or hot tub while you're planning the nursery. Well, maybe it's time to venture into that scary territory and make sure that this home is meant to be the nest that you were hoping for and not the Playboy Mansion that he was dreaming about. It's a crucial conversation, a tough one to have, but it could save you tons of time, money, and heartache to know that you're not on the same page as your partner. Finding your perfect dream home and learning that your partner's not into it at all is not what happy endings are made of. Trust me, I've been there. This is Sandrina Maddo. Thanks for listening. And remember to join me again next month for another Realty Savvy podcast right here in Focal Point E-News.